Oh, get up! What's yeah. happening, lads? He's good. Good, mate. Aye. Ballon, Andy Halliday, Ballon d'Or, man. Halliday. We've got the best fucking player in Scotland sitting next to us. I think so. He's flying, flying young yeah. man. You did it wrong, wasn't it? But yeah, as, as, as I was just saying, he's there, that's one Kevin Kelly will be proud of, I think. Yeah, I've not got that for a while. Well, I, as you know. Is that what pubes do for you, isn't it? <laughs> as you know. I'm just going to start heating the ball like that. <laughs> <laughs> as you know, I've, it's break news, I've booked in for a hair transplant. Brilliant, I've, man. But that's it scrap now. Oh, yeah, fuck that. That's fucking scrap. Well, I think it's on fire. I scored you that goal with that hair. Right, talk us through it then. So, what's the goal? We're going to come to Hearts game. Well, you say you're not seeing it. Obviously, he's watching it right now for a start. Obviously, he's on the first on the sheet. He's a third, but just talk to your goal first time we'll come to the game as a, as a whole. I've been saying to Lee McCulloch for the last few weeks, like, get me in the box for corners. And it's been get pure tongue in cheek because I'm shite. Right? It, I'm actually, I've got a good leap, but I'm terrible at directing headers. But I've just been saying it anyway because I want to go in the box. And then I've got the nod to go in the box. Great the first finish. corner, mate. Some piece of head you've got on it. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Kev, you ever, did you watch it, Kev? I watched it, aye. On your hearts, TV, on the dodgy box? Hearts, you were buzzing, weren't you, last night? Box, you were buzzing with the result, mate. <laughs> I was, hearts. I think hearts are just getting slowly getting players back. And they, I think they, I think they've picked up some, definitely picked up form. I think the European results during the week helps massively. Two winners in a week. Mm, and somebody's put Robbie's fingers back in places. You see him clapping last night? He's yeah. like that. No, we'll clap in a minute. You're in what did you say? Clap like you had a shite in his hand before. What a guy, Robbie. He's doing brilliant. Honestly, well done. Right, we're going to come to the football, but I want to ask you is obviously it's Halloween at the time of recording. Yep. Trick or treaters tonight, just t- you turn the lights off. Shut the shutters. Aye. Next week he's in my house now. Do you know that? To my That's poor, that, isn't it? It's only be blue sweeties for you, isn't it? Aye, exactly. <laughs> Viagra's for you. They call beans, isn't it? Just putting beans out of the window. Do you dress up? No, I do. I hate fucking you dressing up. No, I hate it. Hate oh. it. We've got people coming up tonight. We're in a wee bit of a party. Okay. Are you? Uh, any, any opportunity Aye. for that, man? The Semple excuse. brothers are on the go. They're like the fucking ghost train, aren't they? Going through the house. <laughs> 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 what did Tricker Tweakers in the West End ask? What, what did they expect? Like a banana wolf or no, something? Uh, they asked for a score, didn't they? It's, no, it's a direct debit. Three hundred quid. Less than three hundred quid. Ah, fucking miserable bastards. I know. <laughs> fucking hell. Air Street will be heaving. That's for the kids. Is it, huh? Do you, do, do you dress up still? Well, three, no. No, they're not. That's just for Lynn in the bed. Uh, the what three about boys. Get him a dress up at Boca training, no? No, too serious. No right. gimmicks for you, is it? It's no, just no, total no. fit, boy. See, talk about serious, going to put your phone away. I was watching bucket. your goal first. And what, what are you watching the highlights? Oh, what did I hate that was it? Told you it was good. What do the boys in Anderson? What do the kids in Anderson? Monkey nuts still. Is it monkey? You're still mad for a monkey nuts in Anderson, eh? Did you? He's got something ready for my dad. I know if he dress up as a dancey. Slim dress up as a dancey. Do you remember the dancey? The who? The dancey. Oh, but uh, making a murderer. I didn't do it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to ask you so, because it's Halloween. I thought I've just added this here. I'm going to ask you people in Scottish football what we'd expect if you went up to their door for Halloween, what you would get. Oh, right. why, why do you always do this? Put it's good right off the cuff, on the spot isn't it? It's good off the cuff. He's prepared, like, he knows. Weeks, but we get five seconds to say something. Right, you ready? First one. Um, we'll go Hugh Evans. Oh, I'm going to say that. Well, there's originals on it. Oh, what they're getting? What they're getting? What they're getting? Yeah, Soothers. 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 Aye. Johnny's. <laughs> yeah, so they're each. Davy Martindale. I'd say fags are a Yazoo. Yazoo? That he's trying to fill a lovely dress in a minute. And then for Davy, no. Pretty mild, but I think you're right, yeah. Uh, no, I'd say it was a single fag. Like, you used to get for the ice cream, man. Uh, uh, you used to get that. We roll, uh, we roll off. Off used. Uh, Callum Davidson. <laughs> Don't know if Callum would be eating. Black Wagon eye shadow. Wagon wheel or something like that. Black eye shadow, I'd say, aye. <laughs> He's the, he's the kind of he's the kind of guy. Scar- that you, a leather jacket. You get him. You tip a new length, new length leather jacket. You get him. You tip out all your sweeties, right? And then you, you fucking see the shitty sweeties <laughs> the Aldi a little. You're like, who the fuck's game with that? That's a definitely Callum Davidson. Uh, no, leather jackets. Fake, fake, fake sweeties, fake uh, sweeties, uh, and out of date. Uh, leather jackets, unbelievable. Malky Mackay. I'm saying a battered sausage. Uh, Aye, it's not a bad. That's a great show. Uh, battered sausage, isn't it? Got his door. There's a couple of. I don't know if I can, we can go there. <laughs> we could answer for him, could you? Go what on. about Ange Post to Oh, Oof, da. Big Ange, what do you give you? A Velcro jumper. <sighs> just fill a noose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fry it, man. A fry it, just nah. oh, straight out of the pan into your bag. <laughs> On you go. <laughs> uh, Van Bronckhurst. Oh, fucking hell. He'd be like Turkish salad. delight or something, wouldn't he? Salad. 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 That's what I'm making. Fucking salad. Protein bar. An M&S salad. <laughs> An M&S salad. <laughs> we need fucking sauce. Too many calories in the sauce. Aye, <laughs> uh, definitely protein bar or something. Steve Clark. Oh. Stephen O'Donnell would answer the door, innit? O'Donnell would probably see the door, aye. And a mason, a maid outfit. 
Who is that? I'm fucking busy. You <laughs> bollock in there, what is it? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, poor Steve. Steve Clark. Wait, serious, Steve that Clark. Is a, it's a book or something. A book, guys. Uh, uh, aye, something. Like that. That's Mark Cately. How to get to sleep Mark or something. Mark Cately's book, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Mark Cately. Uh, uh, Gavin Strang. What a <laughs> no, antivirus, like, the CDs, is it? A year Adobe subscription. Fla- <laughs> subscription to Adobe Flash Player. <laughs> Norton. <laughs> uh, and else? What other managers? Jim Goodwin. Jim Goodwin. Again. I bet you yeah, there. Jim Goodwin will be like MS Chalk. No, uh, Robbie Nielsen will be like Lint. Aye, Lint. Like proper stuff. Some Lindor, aye. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jim Goodwin. Great question. Obviously. That's a great question. Right, I've got a lot of things. Uh, research on that, Joe. I know. Can I count some? Well, how would you do the research, chap? I don't. No, but just have a good thinking. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, know think you, you mean <laughs> preparation? I said it, I I want to know who would be the full fans of magazines. <laughs> Who do you think's got that in them? Chipper. <laughs> Chipper's getting your scud mag. <laughs> you just have come out against Chipper, so be careful, mate. So you're not, we're just going to get a proper laugh on the Zoo side of that. Zoo and Nuts. No, Zoo that's nuts. a club doctor. Your subscription is Zoo and Nuts. That's a club doctor, isn't it? Mate, that's, that, that story's sensational, eh? I know. So did, did he, he still leave his shirt and tie Did he hit a top on? Everything, aye. Shoot trousers and the belt was just never even fully came out. He never whipped the belt out. It was still there, buckle flying about his ankles. Only man, eh? Aye, okay. fair play him. Did you get a bit this weekend? Aye, aye. Did you? Did you, big man? Aye. You looked even a haircut as well. Oh, it's London. No, you have. Anniversary, wasn't it? No, it was a birthday. Birthday, sorry. 37. 37. How did you treat her? Just went to Norris Kitchen for lunch. You love it, you have? Uh, what did I have? I had pasta and patty. She had patty and sea bass. Oof. Oof. What's that? Dessert. Dessert. Uh, dessert. Did you no. like dessert after? <laughs> no, I think I did actually, aye. Did you? I did, aye. What was that? So a sitting, sitting, well, sitting last night, right? <laughs> sitting, sitting last night watching the uh, telly was shite or something, right? No, oh, no, I watched a fashion documentary and it was fucking unbelievable. Oh, Kingdom yeah, was, of Dreams, brilliant. Yeah, hopefully, you took some advice from it. Um, <laughs> talking sure. about documentaries, you seen Figo one? Oh, brilliant, mate. How good's it? Doesn't give a fuck. Amazing, Figo, mate. Aye. Really good. She was looking for something all night and then she just turned around the blue and went, Do you want some porn? I was like, Fucking hell, man. <laughs> on the big telly? On the big telly, I was like, Where's the kids? In the bed. You, I've never put porn on my big telly, have you? No, no, I had it. I did when I was younger. You first start, didn't it? Did you? About fifty minutes. Ah, like the first start. When period. you were younger, you had to go into your dad's fucking bed and get the the the, the video tape. No, you no, 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 old guy, but your dad back in the day when the VCR, your dad would have the tape stashed underneath the the bed. But so wait, you just put you just put porn on the big telly. We do. No, but you did. Just there was an opportunity, and I just like. What were you sitting? You fully, fully clothed. What was what? What was it? What was this toy? And how? How do you sit when you're watching that? Does she? Do you sit right next to her? Happy chair. Or you? You got the hand in there. Listen, just. Does Lynn never watch us back? I don't hope no. Crack, Listen, my, my did you way. get to the end of it? But what, what, I want to know what he's watched or what was it? We the... never got to it because I wasn't oh. in the mood for it, so I said no. Oh. And then she went straight up the stair and half. I went up, <laughs> I went up the stair and uh, she pretended to be asleep, so. Nah, so, wait, big news, the big man's in for a lot of people. I had a lot of messages saying it's the big man, all right? Oh, I win the morning. Money, big man. I'm not going to die. You'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be fine. It will be fine. It's just because, like, back I'm in the day, sure, yeah. you get your hips done, you get your knees done, and you know it's going to be all right. But whereas. When somebody says to you, we're going to get your neck. It's a bad place to go in, isn't it? Aye. Well, on your neck? Aye. It says, well, if we miss I your voice box, we might hit an artery that might cause a stroke, we might hit your spinal cord that might make you, you're like, fucking hell. Wait, how long are you in for? Uh, two, days. two days. Two days. First night, they have a, you get 24 hours supervision, somebody stays with you because, I don't know what it is, but I've been there more and more. It'll yep, be yep, done. Yep, yep. And then uh, we'll be. Well, what, what, what hospital is? Edinburgh. Edinburgh, up in Edinburgh. Oh, oh, why is it Edinburgh? Because it's a private one. Oh, right, Ooh. mate, if you could have. No, not at all, because um, <sighs> cause our, our, our wonderful NHS is a big, massive waiting list, so I can't wait for it because it's, it's too much. So the Aye. PFA. Too much pain, mate. Sorry, PFA right. England are going to pay 60% of the cost, and I'll foot the other 40%. Ah, PFA England? PFA England. England. Well, you, you've been entitled to that as well. £12,500 injury fund you See, get. See, when you do your B licence? When you finish. Oh. I got that, I got that. Half I saw it in, no. Aye, yeah. so you, in England you get. Do you know, get, in England we man that. Nah. Do you not know, get, get? You don't get it. You don't get yours paid for we man that. You don't get one. Just you pay the full price if you come back. So if you're ever injured, you get twelve, <laughs> twelve and a half grand. I think it is England for injury, and I think you get up to ten grand for education. It's good playing down south, and permanently right, loan doesn't. It? See when you're there, ah. per, you know you're there permanently. Ah. Probably not because they don't. They look the only, the only they look after you. Your full time players, don't they? The ones that sent you, isn't it? 
Can't wait, to get, can't wait to get the pension in that at 35. Oh, do you get a pension or not? Do you know what you mean? Do you get a pension? No, mine's just 55. I get I'm 55. Is I it? Caught mine's just 35. I didn't have much. I got, I think I got, I didn't say I didn't have much. I think mine's had like 60 grand, but I never put a penny into it. What, you got 60 bags in your you fucking money? I know, Rage. Were they paying that straight in no, your account? No, I meant like, but back in the day, I'm referring that, reference that to. Back in the day, that was the main footballers' pension. They put everything uh, in it. And they, they would double it, wouldn't they? The BFA they would, would like, double it. I, I don't think I really put too much in it. So over the course of 10 I think mine's were like 60 grand. But I was I was 35. I was able to get that at 35. What, you just got a whack? It I'll was lump sum. Everything that was earned before 2006 was tax-free. So that was like 40 grand. And then the other 20, I was allowed to do um, drawdown. Good on you, mate. Or something like that. But, um, you must be kicked. I've got any money. Yes, I yes. That, that was when I was wild. Just oh, I was yeah. wild then, so it's, 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 nah, I'm not okay at all. What I'm you got in your bank right now? Uh, probably <laughs> minus 15 quid or something. I don't know. I don't even deal yeah, with minus banks. Minus is a heartbreak, isn't it? Oh, I don't man, even I'm, I'm constantly minus. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly minus. Fear. See, when I first signed for Middlesbrough, I went, uh, I, t- I told you Kim Thompson proper took me under his wing. Me, Tomo and Boydie went to the Metro, the big shop centre in Newcastle. I get roped into buying a pair of Dean and jeans, 400 quid, mate. See the full journey home, I was like, can't even enjoy them, my mate. den, man. I pure, d- d- like, making sure I kept that receipt. So I was taking them back as soon as they were away. Nah, Honestly, easy, I, was, easy. I get roped into them buying loads of shit and that. Did you ever, the first team ever send you to the bank to check the, to no, get money out for them? Never. No. Did you Aye. go? Check, yeah. check the balance. I did that. Oh, was a joke. Hundreds of, uh, like, it was something used to get, Hartson used to get it and Lenny used to do it quite a bit as well. What, like? I did oh, it to my brother one day. thousands, mate. Uh-huh. I did it to my brother one day, we were in a Sunday session and I was like, oh, I've got to more cash. And he says, oh, I'll go and get some. I says, I'll take my card. So he went out and he came back and he went, you know what fucking money you've got in your bank account? And I was like, no, how? And he's like, it's nearly fucking like six figures in that. But it was after like a month where I had been paid bonuses and, like, bonuses and stuff, but... Didn't fucking last long. Seeing people say money doesn't make you happy. It does, not oh, no, <laughs> no, I didn't do that. <laughs> it helps. It helps, but nah. You, you must I'll, be double CEO. Must be making a few quid. How's that? How's energy? Slow How's wild thing? Slow burn. Slow burn. Energy. Slow burn. An energy drink like being a slow burn is not a good fucking sign. Prime. <laughs> uh, the thing that we've killed you. Prime's killed you. The cut. The same. Come on, two boys are talking about me. Fucking prime. Can we get prime? I'm out the fuck's that? I got six bottles out there. Oh, so you've bought six bottles, but you've not supported your pal's business, right? That's good. That's fucking lovely, yeah. That's brilliant, that, eh? <laughs> And the one, my boy, I good. offered the boys, do you want a bit of this or a bit of that? They went, no, Dad, we want Prime, because Slane's not hit the YouTube yet, so KSI's on, on YouTube. YouTube. For five year. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Gold's been on YouTube for years. Is that, is that a different channel? <laughs> I should know about it. I wonder if you'll have any sexy nurses tomorrow. I hope so. No, how long has that put you out for? Eh. Uh, it's a guy saying two weeks. Should be back driving oh, in two weeks. I'm the one to be sitting waiting about, so you'll be fine. Mate. You'll be fine. Mind. You'll be fine. Right, right. Grove in the sport, who's doing it? It's double the odds for new signage when you sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Missed the first £10 bet, but mm-hmm. so I did. I knew I jumped there. I knew I jumped. Right, Livy V Celtic, like big win. The low block for Livy. Celtic were good, weren't they? Getting through that, because uh, it is hard to play against. Keys the early goal, isn't it? I get suits. Well, we know about that for Saturday. Oh, fucking no. hell, man. <laughs> it's actually, so they both, we've been, they both games were very similar, actually. Um, there's nothing rough if that's where you want to play sitting, but I hate you relying a lot, a lot when you play like that. And that's, it, listen, it's hard for Livy's to go up against Celtic or Rangers, they obviously success, uh, success the week before. Yep. Um, but I think it was an uh, the or mark or something, they had 16 passes or something. Mm. Completed 16 passes, so. I don't know, it's tough that to watch, but... And one of them was Davy booting the fucking ball right back on the pitch, wasn't it? One of the six... Yeah, exactly. But see, when they came, it was when they came out, they kind of went and pressed the halfway line yeah. that said, like, get in for their goal, didn't it? Uh, yeah. But I, I think that Celtic and Rangers have struggled uh, at that stadium for a while now because I always think you get drawn into that slow tempo. See, especially with the pitch, sometimes it doesn't help with the pitch because it's sticky, it's dead is it, slow. Is the pitch bad, have you been brushing your teeth yeah, with the pitch? <laughs> 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 like Martin, do you want to be in with It's no great. But, I mean, Livy started with, what, seven defenders? Is that seven uh-huh. defenders? Livy start lineup, so they're obviously going to time for state. But like you say, if at one stage in the game, you know Livy are going to be a low block, they come out of that low block, Celtic need to play quick to try and exploit it. And to be fair, Stevie Kelly comes out, Matt O'Reilly Aye. plays it into the space. And then, what, what's the defender doing at Livy? The boy Jack Fitzwater? Come straight he steps out, but he tries know. to like, block the pass block out the wide. Pass. And then Kyogo obviously exploits the space and touch and finish. Finish is a joke, by the way. Great finish. Make a left man. foot as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it'd be hard to see if you're a Levy's team player? Do you think you would enjoy playing like no, that? No, I t- I, again, I understand why I did, but I, I would hate to play in that. Because eh? it doesn't seem like I get sitting in and I get they've been successful against Celtic there, but 
I think that it, you've got to, it feels like Bingham Williams you're kicking up there hoping for the best. But see, the, see, the, see, see, the, see, the, see the thing is, I would be looking that back and thinking, Bingham had probably the, the aye, better car because... Had him booked early doors as well, didn't aye, he? And he had him physically. Had him, so I'm thinking, if Levy had been a wee bit more adventurous and maybe used Nubly as a target and to get up the park, because mm. even when Kyogo at the score and they went 1-0 down, we still sat in the low block and didn't bother coming out at all. And David said in the, the pre-match interview that uh, I pretty much agree that he was hoping to. Um, we've got game plans. There was none. It was just we had two banks of five, and that was it. <clears throat> but to and be fair, I, like, he says after the game, and he's right. Like Rangers and Celtic are coming out saying about the gap, financial gap that they've got in Champions League when they play against Napoli's Liverpool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same. Levy and all the right. domestic teams are dealing with that when they play the old firm. So they need to try and do something to bridge the gap. Obviously, like he says, <clears throat> their game plan was to go and frustrate. If your game plans are going for state and you can see the early, your game plan is out the window. Yeah, yeah. It's out the window because so you you're changing the tells you need, to, you need to then try and come out and you're going toe to toe way. But then you see, that many see if you're looking at it though, from a manager's point of view and they, they sort of teams, would you look at a St. Martin, how they went and done it? Would you, would, not copy, but would you look and think, St. Martin did play in a low block, but they went with two up. Aye. So that when you went it back and you're getting the ball up there, it's still coming straight back yeah. to you, you have got a wee chance 2v2. Should maybe managers looking at me a, a wee bit more adventurous? Aye. I think the big thing at St Mundon as well, like you're right, we're, we're putting the two up, but see any opportunity they did get to get forward, they had four bodies in the box every time. Yeah, so yeah. see any time they put it in the box, even if they never won first, first contact, they had that many bodies to try and swarm it, and mm -hmm. that's how they get their two goals. Mm -hmm. One's a first uh, first phase, <laughs> one's obviously the second phase. So I, it's, I, I do agree, in terms of playing in that system, Joe Newby had a... Hiding it, nothing really, didn't mm. he? he? Never really had much in terms of support with him. And yeah, he, does, he actually does so well. See, for like, Lovey's was just half chance, but you see the Jason Holt one? He's basically against the back four cell and he takes out Jens with a touch down the yeah. line, he runs, and he still managed to find Jason Holt, who's the only one in the box, and then he tries to take a touch, but Celtic fully deserved it. I mean, what the a great deal this Different guy, well, uh, no different guy, he's always been a good player, but he's, he's, back. he's probably certainly expected to No, but he, he, he is. Like, in the summer, Andy, <laughs> see, he's seen the summer, and I'm, I'm, I would, in the summer, I said that he was maybe one that you could maybe think that they'd bring a left back in to challenge for that position. Mm -hmm. um, but he, they have, and they did. That's what's is, that, is, that, is that what's maybe spurred so him on to the next it, level? It kind of has to be. I think last year he, would, he came in the team and got the games that he got, and he did well last year. So there was a lot of talk, like Slaney says, about bringing in another left back just to give competition for places. And I think the fact they brought in Bernabe, 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 Bernabe yeah. brought him in, he's just thought, you know what, he's not taking my position. And it's not just his defensive excellent. qualities, it's how good he is going forward. He's simply fight, he doesn't go down, he's coming inside, trying to slip balls into well, players. Some, I heard last, yesterday on the programme, he played. He grew up playing centre mid. Oh, did he? Mm -hmm. At Kelly, so he came through, so it suits him, I think. So wow. he's probably he's quite excellent. comfortable in that position, but playing no, the listen. season so far, I think you're him. Well, it's, aye. Aye, maybe me just should. Just should at the moment. Aye, to be fair, it's like nobody's taking that away from him last year because he did have a good season. No, no, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt about yeah. it. He's kicked on another level, and I, this is what I've said about Ange Postecoglou, right? Because he's he spent a fortune at Celtic. There's no doubt, but he's got the best out of all the players that were there beforehand. Yeah. And there's no more so than Greg Taylor. Yeah. He's probably the one that's improved the most at the moment. Do you know who's a cracking player? His Banovic. Yeah, it's good. Uh, he's he's maybe I'd go, he doesn't really create enough chances, though. Now, would that be true? Would that I be think fair? So. No, I think he creates chances. Uh, I think he's definitely good. I like him. I think, he's good. I think he's technically better than me than I would have. But I don't think, do you he's, think he's, he's not as much a goal threat. I don't think he's got in positions to score. Maybe I bet he Do you think so. O'Reilly's wasted in the position of McGregor? I don't, think it's, I don't think it's his natural position, no. obviously, but I think he's done all right there, Kevin. He's done all right, aye, but... He's a better tackler than I thought he was. Aye, and he's, he he's big as well, he's aggressive. tall. But, um, but no, Levy, Levy, listen, Levy are hoping... I'm, I'm looking at it thinking by sitting in low block, what's your gain? You get a point, at best. You'd maybe try and nick something from a corner. They go a goal down, why not just come out and maybe change just the shape a wee it. bit and just go? If it's like match day minus two, he'll be sitting thinking low block, to the change the medium block so. to... <laughs> Oh, fuck the high block when they happened. <laughs> semi medium. <laughs> as a semi medium. Well, get him the semi medium in that. Ah, in that right, right, right. Get him best bit of the game to Aaron Moy fucking me well. I'd see it. That was brilliant. Ah, yeah, that was fucking We need to get the wee man wrapped up in cotton wool, didn't we? We were He looked so lost, didn't he? Uh -huh. Felt so bad when he scamped him with the gun, the wee man, didn't he? But no, all good. It was good. I've seen the phrase, yeah. I think David Martin was my favourite manager outside. That is a legend. Oh. Why? So honest, mate. So honest. And I actually like listening to him speak. Yeah. I see everyone kings about like his, his accent and that. Why, just who why, is? why would you change, why change, you change his accent? Because I thought, oh, Andrew. Uh -huh. I don't know, I just started. You'd maybe change it if you had a couple of training sessions. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe a couple of games. <laughs> 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 uh, Bar award, set like a penalty, right decision. Yeah. 
Under the rules, again, I'd say it's the right decision. But it's but harsh. It's very harsh. It's, 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 harsh. it's not a penalty for me. No, but under the rules. No, no, sorry. It is a penalty. Yeah. But as a player, it's no. You're really if that makes sense. Right. I'm not saying that, that VAR got the wrong decision because they never, in terms of the rules, you like to say that as a penalty. But I, it's so hard for defenders now, mate. It is. Aye. Because I, I think if you freeze frame it, right, that is an unnatural position, right? But he's. His elbow's here, mate. He's like, doing that, wasn't he? <laughs> what was he doing that? His but? elbow's here, like, what? he's not going to be pure straight locked down, so it's like, your hand's going to be out a wee bit, do you know what yeah. I mean? So it's so harsh. And it, I, I don't know who said it, it might have been David Martindale, but players are that, see, like, the, the, uh, the quality of Celtic swingers, right? They're that type, they're clever that, see, they're just kick it after you, you get a penalty. And it's I'm going to go, it's going to go to the stage where people defend like, I fucking hate it as well, mate. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. You go that low centre of gravity where you see something like Joe, see something like Joe, if he just drops it one way, you're like, I'll on you go. I know, mate, so hard to defend against it. It's embarrassing. You ever been home after the rim? Honkhurst? No, Honkhurst. never. Have you? Yeah. yeah no. You have, I can tell no, by your no, reaction. No, no, no. Me, ha have I been handcuffed? Or, ha no. or have you handcuffed somebody? Oh, aye. <laughs> have I? Aye. Hey, one again. Couldn't they say? Couldn't they say? Was just Big sheriff, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't they say she's had enough of the show the day as it is. <laughs> 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 well, Celtic obviously getting bodies back. So obviously Jota's back now. Carl Vickers been back for a few games to be fair and then Tumble's return for engine. You look at mate, Celtic have got five wingers that could be the best player on any given day. Well, will that Nevada, be a problem Jota. for them with, with this amount of players trying to keep them all happy? Or Because the European games are going to go now, aren't they? Right, you're right, so you're trying to keep that, that, that yep. big squad happy all the time. I don't actually doing that situation, do you? I know, but... Uh, just organise bounce games all the time, aren't you? Right. Just and just pretend they're... Uh, you just... Uh, <laughs> but just fuck noise. <laughs> I don't know how you keep them happy. You just they're part of the squad, and you'll rotate it in certain games, or imagine certain players will fit certain roles at whatever it is. But do you think anyone will leave in January? I think you might try to get rid of a few. If if, if they not just signed something today, they've signed a boy from uh, Japanese. Japanese yeah, yeah, for her. Um, but I think they would probably have to. Yeah, you, nah, you, you, you could. Gen Jen's is left right footed, didn't he? Jen's I mean, that's what I was, 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 was not sure what he was. Way, the only thing you could probably say that if Celtic missed something, what would it be? It would be a left right centre half, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just that's what this boy wise. is. That's what I mean, so. Aye, so. But he's, is he no young? He's not, he's not 20, 22, isn't he? Is that what he is? Stafford, no. Do you think? I don't know, but that would be. Vickers, Jens, and this boy in the head. Stephen Welsh. Welsh as well, yeah, yeah. No, but Star if Starfield's fat, I think Starfield still plays. That's still the game. He's number is he one. Still one injured, I think so. Vickers, I think he will be, huh? Jens? Well, it depends, I suppose, how much they paid for the, the Japanese boy if he's coming. Jens is obviously on a loan. Yeah, yeah, I think McCarthy and that they've got a problem with them on. They're never going to move McCarthy, uh, How do you move on? You're not moving him. Mate. You're not moving him. He's not moving. <laughs> no, a four year deal, you're not moving <laughs> him. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You're that boy. Uh, what would you get at Tom Boyd's door? Oof, that's one for you. So egg Sani, and his door. No, not even a sani, just egg, just scrambled egg. <laughs> you just put right. scrambled egg in your bag. The worst buffy sandwiches ever, eh? A poached egg. Or he's Puma Kings, aren't they? Stink your bag. Stink the darkness, innit? Stink your darkness. Right, yeah. One of the Rangers Aberdeen. Tell us about it. No, I thought, the only talk was, is this Van Bronckhorst last game? What a performance by the way for Rangers. Especially going to London, mate. Exactly, came back with a bang. How yeah. do you think that is, though? The thing is that people have been saying, I know it's football, but people have been saying, where has that performance been? Because they've no shown that. Well, again, it was like a totally different Rangers because when I watched it last week, it was very much getting the ball wide, and then you're looking at the Lundstrom's slipping wee boys into Tillman, who's cut backs for for Kovac, and you're like, that should that should be how Rangers play for me. Uh, Do you think though, because they played Livingston, they knew they were going to make it really tight, so they have worked on. But they've got three big centre backs that you're crossing the bunter. Yeah. What, but see, the fact the matter is one like difference in terms of approach was Aberdeen. Went for the Rangers, uh -huh. do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, that, that does that makes it easier. More space. And that's stupid. Uh, for Aberdeen. See, my big thing is with Rangers, right? I, See this tri trial period of playing different people out in the right wing, like just gonna just play a winger. Out there. Yeah. So so Sakala done like, well, by the way. Sakala did his full energy. See the thing about Sakala is right. See if you even look at last year, he's effective. He's yeah. got good numbers. He doesn't shy away for anything. He he can he's got speed, and like he, a lot of the goals that he scored Saturday came from through Sakala. Uh, he doesn't just play wide Sakala because he's naturally a striker. Like, one of the goals well. or one of the chances yeah. that goes to Kolac and he runs inside Kolac. Whereas in the other wingers are not really get that. It'd be horrible to pick up Sakala because that quick. Uh, and he's he's in the he did he some must at Rangers he's he's still, still, aye, I think so as well and, and, and we've seen the best of probably Ryan Kent I think individuals players did perform better the biggest, right. biggest thing for me was much more intensity even for the start because Rangers they didn't deserve to go 1-0 no. they started the game well had chances but just 
there was just a a different feel. sort of feel like I the feel like that's how Rangers to it and they have to play it that at home to get the crowd up and get them on their side because see the longer it goes like the Livy game last week the crowd then become on top and some players maybe think oh god here's that air of negativity are surrounding us whereas when, you're, when they've hit a goal down they've got the goal equaliser fairly quickly after and they've got the second man just before the half time uh, with Lundstrom and then you get into the half time Lundstrom's getting in the box a wee bit more uh, yes, so. he's been doing he, 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 Tillerman was good and obviously Lundstrom's talked player, about man. Tillerman I'm, and, and I think he's saying no Tillerman, they've not the best but if you look at him he's 20, 20 years old I think Great he's maybe started only like three senior games before he actually came to Rangers so he's still just what you're effectively like a young kid trying to make his way in the game. So you've got to give these guys time just because he hasn't come through the Rangers youth system and he's been brought in. Like some, some when you come through the youth system in any club you get a wee bit, you're afforded a wee bit more time. I think Tillerman should be given that I, as well because there's no denying he's got quality. I think if you ask uh, Rangers fans or anyone that's watched Rangers this season, there's probably split opinions on Malik Tillman. For me, he's probably... I'd say, I'd say he's Rangers' best signing. Yep. Mm. So what's the split Joe, opinion? Joe Lack, See the fair. people who are, are the other side of the split. What what's their argument from not playing? Lazy. Oh really? Uh, right? Lack of aggression. Doesn't make contact with people out of possession and that, which has probably been exposed in Europe to be honest. Because maybe no getting away with that if you're. Mm. I, I think the Ajax game was a big one. He was just didn't get close enough to people. Was letting people run past he's him. Right wing, wasn't he? And he's twenty year old. He's twenty year old. Like, he can improve that side of the game. But see, in possession, he's a creative player. He's a clever player. He's always finding pockets. He gets on the half turn. So see these games, like the Levies at homes and that, which he did play anyway. But when you're against the low blocks, you need players like that. Somebody can unlock the door. You can't yeah. just play like a yeah. like a, a Lundstrom, a, a Davis, or like that. Similar type players, aren't somebody's they? Somebody's going to take somebody out of the game. Ah, uh, exactly. And, and to be fair, he's got some big goals as well. But I, like, I, I really like him. You're looking cracking in that strip, man. Eh? <laughs> that's the best I've seen you, actually. <laughs> ah, so that is a cracker, a strip, though, isn't it? It's a cracker. I'll give a bit of the black yellow. Do you? It's a belt, and I. Uh-huh. Do you think Jim Goodwin, see, we're talking styles about Martin Dean, we're saying maybe we could make attacking. Do you think Jim Goodwin got it wrong by going, going for it, though? If he, no, looks, not, but if no. he looks at the week before, no, if he looks at the week before, Oh, yeah. And seeing how the crowd react to Ranger Mark Livingston sitting in Rangers find it hard to break them down, the crowd getting on the back. But at Aberdeen, a bigger club than Livingston, they should expect their fans expect them to go and go to places like Ibrox. No, especially when they're not back at a good result. But I mean as in they were they were very open, Aberdeen. Mm. Could they have sat if in a bit and then try as you said, try hitting the counter? If I'm Jim Goodman looking at how Rangers performed, obviously, in Europe against Ajax, it was uh, Napoli, sorry, and then Livingston last week and how my team's performing, flying, I'm going to Ibrox saying, to win. we're going there to win. I think Jim's good at trying to get that mentality in his players, uh, this is how we play. There's an opportunity, I think what happened was, they got the goal, and maybe at that opportunity, do you say, do we be a bit more cautious? <laughs> well, I, you look at it, they've scored the most goals outside Rangers and Celtic, obviously, we obviously scoring goals, scoring goals, so, I, I don't see anything wrong with his approach, of going there to try and get something at the game. I think, in hindsight, is it wrong? Maybe. Uh, but uh, but I, I if you look at their better, better players this year, it's been their attacking players, isn't it? Aye, so you, how do you take, is it Duke and Miofsky? You can't then go, no, we're not going to go, we're going to go and play 4 5 1 when they two have been absolutely on fire for you. Yeah. You could go with the two. You could still go with the two. As a sim- sim- same as the Sunday Sunday Sunday. On the On the, the, they scored the goal, and then I think What about Duke's feet for the goal? He's a good player, isn't he? No, he'll, 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 he'll be good. I think the, the difficulty was when they scored the goal, could they have got to half time? One nil up because then that might have set the Rangers fans off on one bit. Rexy Rangers got that goal quickly. So do you mean like score and then maybe change no, it? No, 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 change it. Because I think the first goal, the one that slipped in with the pass from Lundstrom, Lundstrom. Lundstrom through the gap, I think the centre half's got to be better. Mm. I think he's got to, I, I, I think that's too easy. And then I think if he's a wee bit more switched on and narrows that gap a bit, maybe that first goal doesn't come. And then maybe Aberdeen get. Do you know what I mean? I think it was too easy. I think they've let Rangers in too easy, but then obviously Rangers have grabbed the bill with the horns and basically, and I think that I think they battered Aberdeen second half. Yeah, it would have been, been easy as well that with the situation that Rangers are in now and obviously being under a bit of pressure, it'd have been easy for them to fold after going one 0 down because yeah. everyone thought the same thing when Aberdeen yeah, went one up. You think that could be a long ninety minutes, but to be fair, they it's, they showed good. It's character. probably the best I've seen them yeah. this season domestically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, but if Aberdeen go one up and how vulnerable Rangers are and what's happened the previous week, you're going to try and get another aye. one, aren't you? Aye, because they get the second, then the crowd really is on their back. But so fair play to Rangers. And if that if that did happen, then so yeah. I think honestly, Rangers as much as it was amazing to call the Champions League, they'll just want that done now. I think they want aye. that out the way now, but they. Well, what are they still only two points behind the league as well? No, four, 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 four points. <laughs> <laughs> what are the four points behind now in the league? Four points behind. So I just think that. The Champions League, they've, they've took um, 
a few downs and it must be listen what, no matter what MD says that must be hard mate to keep on coming back especially with the pressure Rangers fans put on you um, so I think they've still got one game but you, what they need to win five now or something to five, five, so five, that's five, that's not going to happen so they'll just, I think they'll just button that out the way now and, for the horrendous time of injuries, I've seen Ben Davis came off as well, didn't he? Oh, did he? Uh, half 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 uh, yeah. And then Goldson's obviously injured, so I could just want it done. Listen, Rangers haven't had what you would say the greatest start to the season, 12, 13 games in, but they're only four points behind. Four points is like... Oh, Celtic were six it's last season. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's an old firm game that then it should maybe could potentially could instead a point and anything that we've already seen the likes of sitting there and taking points out of Celtic this season, so they're still... Big Lundstrom came out, didn't he? Aye. And said that... It's not a day with Celtic where we're behind. Right, so See, giving your honest I opinion. Said it on. hour. Was it, it, part, he actually said that though, and he went, it was because we played bad. But I just yeah. think they just leave that. But See, giving your honest opinion, right? It's four points, but it feels like murder. Yeah, I, 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 I know it's four high. points. Yeah. But I just I didn't think based on the performances and that, it's like they've obviously not been to the best, like you say, so it does feel like more, for, uh, more than four points. But it's not a long way to go. Don't get me wrong. Does he need to just stick with a team now, Van Bronckhorst? I, I would difficult. like if you, you you do it Simon you're the manager you know the importance of having the same group of boys every week you know you know, you know how they're going to perform and, and, and there'll be times when they're bad but you pick them back up again he's with that many injuries I think the the left back came off injured yeah Saturday uh-huh. is it y- y- no. Yilmaz yeah, Yilmaz, yeah, yeah. Yilmaz, Yilmaz. he come off injured and you're thinking to yourself hey, this kind of like it's no, it's just unfortunate so just got to, like the hearts, they've just got to try and get as many bodies back and just keep mm. doing what they're doing. Like that'll give them massive confidence. The boy mm. Lawrence as well has been a misconceit. Oh, he, 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 he was the highest great like start that. of the season. He came in for, with you. He replaced Aribo almost, didn't he? Mm. And but came see, in done really well. Yeah. See, the, I remember last season when Van Bronckhorst first took the job and I thought the big change when he first came in was the fact that obviously before they played the narrow front three, when he came in, he wanted these hang, uh, wingers well, behind well, wide. He wanted the tent to be closer to the striker and running behind. But see, we constantly changing this right winger, whether it's Scott Arfield or a Tillman, or, it's almost changing your style every week. Because yeah. one week when you've got a Matondo or a Sakara playing high and wide, playing the wingers, playing the 10 in behind a course at the striker, then when you play like a midfielder out there, everything changes. So see, on that, that Andy, is that more down to personnel up front in terms of last year it would be Morelos, who would be a different type of striker to how Kolak is? So Kolak is in, he's more of a get the ball wide, get the balls in the box and he's there. Is that why the, the, that situation has changed in terms of the high and wide midfielders? Is he trying to get that ball so it's down the wide instead of maybe like Saturday where a lot of the games have been a wee bit more intricate but players? I think it's more... I think it's more maybe when Matondo's had a chance he's not been at his best or Sakala's yeah. played... Maybe cemented the position. Maybe so cemented nobody it, said, I, Nobody's played a three games in a row and they're like, we can't drop him, now he's yeah, fine. I, but I think it's got to the stage where give somebody a run to try and get them that and maybe Sakala took it the weekend because he was he really good done. obviously got a couple of assists so Gredo played it one time as well didn't uh, he? Gredo got a game man <laughs> <laughs> but what about the boy Anthony for man you doing that skill? Oh mate what is, why is everyone raging? Uh, but it had the worst trick in the world didn't it? It'd have been magic if, it, if, his pass, if his pass had got to where it was going to it'd have been brilliant but the fact his pass went straight I out of the park I, bo- I see both sides of the arguments like I don't think you can take flair players away from what they've done. Like, see, like he said, that's what got me, man. Yeah. You, but see when you're doing it when there's need, 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 you don't beat a man, <laughs> then you pass <laughs> it over. It's like, oh, I'm not proud for him, but, yeah, what, is it, no, but what is he doing? Do you know you used to do stuff like that? Right. Brock Watson <laughs> does three spins and passes out of the pitch. You see, he loves it. He Good passes one. out of the pitch without doing a fucking spin before. Right? He may as well just do a fucking spin. Uh, right. Andy Harold, oh, he hearts heat. Playing to injury. I know. Wow. Just nah. dragging the, the jam. He even, got a song. He even got a song now. How's he? What is it? Hey, ho, there she goes. Little, little too high and a little, little too low. low. Little, little self-esteem, self-esteem and there she go. go. I think she's made me sandy. It's a good song, eh? He's a proper dancer, that though. Why is your hero on that? Robbie Williams as well? No, I don't know. Hi. Hi. Any parachute? Nice thing you get is a couple of tickets for Hydro, big boy. Now I'm back. What? I thought I threw myself out. You're a tight bastard. <laughs> no, no, but I just wanted to get back to the other. I didn't even like to see him. See, Gemini, two live shows at the Hydro. You think we'd be able to get a couple of tickets now? Hydro hate us, man. <laughs> Fucking so hate us, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're doing well, mate. Well done. So, where did you play? Was it centre mid? Was it you fucking. Centre mid Thursday, left back weekend. So, you got either for left back? Aye. Corner. For corner. corner nah. Big guy's up for the corner. Who are you, Matt? Big guy's up for the corner. Big guy's up for the corner. Throw somebody under the bus. Who would you get? Uh, who would you break the shackles off? Of? Who was that? Get your fucking hands off! I seen you doing that. Leave this actually. I can't remember who it was, but I done a wee dart and then. Did you? Go shoot it was it? Show me that way. I like that. And then I go under the ball. Had to shoot my hand. Shoot the man. 
you, that's because you were watching it upside down after that porn. It's, it's this fucking so it's characters, it's it's characters like, it's a Kev Kyle special. What was that? No, 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 no. it was a. No, he run to jig. He run to jig. Oh, did you go straight to jig? Hate you. Well, I never asked him. I was still yeah, on the pitch. Yeah, I didn't yeah. run off the pitch to go to him, but I said, put me in the box. Jig, so. jig, what about that? Was, he, was it a yo-yo hanging out? He's a fire on the line. That's fair, I know, isn't it? How snow did he play well? Did really well, mate. Aye. Uh, used his experience, kept the ball. Aye. Like so I said to you, by pot fills, I sent him in. Pot fills in the last 10, 15 minutes. So, see if you used to play a two in there? Is it still 3 4 3 or is it 3? At the weekend, it was uh, what, 4 3 3, aye. 4 3 3. And with a sitter or with a 10? Snoddy was sitting. Snoddy sat in front of the back four? He never started sitter, but he moved to sitter after about 20 minutes, and it was Keo and uh, Connor Smith, young Connor Smith. First Connor Smith, start, it was like Greenspan. 2019. Player, oh, you've said that. I'm going to attack get. I said to say, take this boy on loan last mm-hmm. year. He ignored my advice. No, he went to Queen's Park. Ah, true, aye. Right. He terrorised me at Queen's Park. Good player, mate. Really good uh-huh. player. Terrorised me when I was at Peter. What's he, Big fan of him, go by me. I see, we call him. Got him tickets for, he came to SWG3. Good. Did he? That, wait, He's got the top back. That, sure. that kid's got the top, hasn't he? The man made uh, sure. Midge. Aye. <laughs> 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 so I wanted to ask you this, because it's not on the sheet, but I wanted to ask you, is Shanklin better than what you thought he was going to be? Nah, nah, I wouldn't say so. We expect him to be, mate. He's fucking flying. Nah, what mate, woman is that? He's a brilliant finisher. And do you know what? I, no, I, I tell you, like, I'd say he's 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 hold up playing his link up plays better than I thought it'd be because uh, he's always been known as just a finisher, isn't he? A sort of penalty box player, but he likes to play very well, mate. Use his body great because he's no big, mate. He's about five eleven, six foot. Yeah, and big. he can hold his best with his own. Big compared to his eye. Big compared to me, anyway. I definitely. But I'd say I'd say he's better than that. Than I thought. And training finishing a joke? Finishing's very good, mate, aye. Right and left foot. What are you like? Yeah, I've seen him head out in. What's your trainers over there? What have I got? They yeah, must. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why we have the wee new bands. What are you wearing? I'm coaching, get him coaching after this. Are you? Aye, Halloween what's special. Uh, what's the theme with this? Halloween special. <laughs> so what, what is it? What is it? Do you, do you go and play, get him to play hide and seek and just disappear from here? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would fucking what do. You, so wait, no, but what are you actually teaching them? Long, the shooting and the big line. You just go and get a bag, trick or treat bag. Aye. Ah, that's good, isn't it? Are they all dressing up? Aye. Is it not school? F3 to 4. Oh, yeah, right. But then I've got, you know, then 40, 46 as well. <laughs> Struggling, mate. Loads of kids, a, mate. Have you ever done a shite in the school? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time, 50 minutes early. Well, I've just got to check the register. Right in the pan. Oh, dear. But I had that in it. Where's the worst place you've done a shite? Oh. Primark. Oh, your missus, when you first start meeting your missus and shit. Primark? Ah, oh, he it. done it, man, mate. Was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> the worst is, eh. Uh, they shut the tap for his peer people. Go on, the worst go on for, are you going to say going for a shite in your bird's house? When you first, first start seeing her. The worst, mate. I kind of don't want my hip was fucked. I said, I've just got to go and check it to see if there's blood coming out. For some reason, you keep farting as well, isn't it? Your arse keeps oh, farting. Because you've been there for that long. Uh-huh. But you see, the worst <laughs> is when you look, when you, when you look up at the FTD shite, you're looking up at the toilet and you're like, I can't see any deodorant here. Uh-huh. Don't you? You're sitting there for a good while, you're getting a window. Uh-huh. And then have you ever had it where you're fucking, the toilet's not working? First. <laughs> <Fushed. laughs> you just sit like up your man's knickers for 20 minutes. Can't get rid of that smell. <laughs> They do, don't they? So he's going to Madrid, did they? What with the knickers? Ah, she's in customs in there. <laughs> <laughs> she went to Madrid? She gets stoked. You need to put her through the fucking the security, didn't you? With the knickers on. She gets stoked she in the belt. customs. <laughs> she's getting searched in there. On the belt. It's like she's in the conveyor belt. belt going through it, she. Aye, they're, they're off, they're on. Are they went to Madrid? I mean, it's in the day, aye. I've not got them tickets, mate. James, he'll sort you. I know, I don't want to ask him again, but I keep asking him too much, so I've not asked him. He's but patched in the last couple of times, isn't he? Aye, for the Champions League games, aye. So. Have you said something bad about him? Was that man with you at the bunk bed Alan Forrest in the tap? Yeah, he is, he's the tap. No, well James is back to the top now, isn't he? Yeah, is so, Alan me and no get a sniff? Oh, oh he James sniffed your James got the heart attack, what, two weeks ago? <laughs> I know. So he's back to the top now. Are the family mate and my dad? They're all right, eh? Who? My sister, brother, and then Mike Monk was not there. Ah, went to watch the game, mate? Aye. But well, in a bubble, mate, because I'm not tickets. I think my uncles have got two, actually, but the rest have they? Uh, where are they staying? Would you play a full sell, uh, full time select team? Should we just go back to talking about sell it again for the next time? <laughs> you just want to take it back and sell it. Aye. Imagine the poor wee Spanish boys thinking English, is it? Especially what? with that heat. What? Sweat on them. <laughs> what would you do? What do you mean? Would you play full time? Uh, 100%. 100%. The okay. players go to Why? Because you don't want to get a doing or just. No, no I, I start, you don't know how you're going to tell the players they're getting dropped that being the first time. But second of all, I remember Rodgers done at Liverpool and dropped Gerard, and Gerard never forgave him because of it. Because the players got 
Love put the Champions League. So you give them that's what they want to be there for to play the games. I know it doesn't mean anything, but it's still it's look at the fixture head fixture list for next Saturday. Celtic play home to the D United, I think it is. Oof. So I'm playing the first team that. tonight, so I don't think there's a fixture worry in terms of coming back from a European tie. So you give your guys the best opportunity to experience something that and maybe, nah. But most importantly, Hearts, how no. important is it <laughs> how important is it though you win these next three games before the World Cup? Oh, it's just, not easy, is it? No, it's not easy, easy it? next week. Not at all. But no, listen. We said it. You're talking about injury last week. Nobody's got worse injuries than us. No. We've got 11 first team players. Robbie's fingers. Robbie's fingers. Uh, Jigs ours. And then players, I know. Players as well. Uh, uh, players and fingers. <laughs> but 11 first team players. We had 12. So how many is 12 there? 12 outfield players in the squad at the weekend. So is it 12 training or is, is, does he bring 20s up? No, he, he brought four or five of the B team up. Uh, for the bench at the weekend which is good to be fair a couple, uh, couple of the younger boys got off the bench as well uh, made and an impact when they came on uh, mate, I, Finley I, Pollock I, I like all of them mate I, I'm not just say, saying that by sitting on the fence but I do I think the boys that came are, are the ones that deserve to be there which is why they did come but I think that game there was massive for us because we've said obviously struggling in terms of numbers uh, so it's pretty much the majority of the same players that are there week to week you know, and it's about just getting as many points as we can go into the break and then Break will probably come at a good time for us to start getting bodies back. How does that. the club get so many injuries? Like, I know, that's what I was going to ask. Is there something change in training? Who's or is it just thing? unlucky? It's or is it just the test, mate, it? We, ours has been a mixture of everything, so I think if you have... Are they muscle injuries? Everyone's just muscle injuries, injuries you're worrying, aren't you? Yeah. But some of are kicks, contacts, so it's, yeah. it's just a mix of everything. It's just been a... But a bad luck to be fair. The yo-yo test. yo-yo test, aye. It's because we're doing the yo-yo test three times. <laughs> it's too much, mate. Uh, brilliant. Right, Motherwell, what a result. Needed it. Back uh, four defeats. Go up to Tanadice. 1-1-0. One, one, Big talking point. Tony, Mini, what? Mini Was it a red card? Out. No chance. Actually, have you seen it from a different never, angle? It's still uh, I thought the exact same, eh? There's no touch. It's it? never a red card. No, it's it no, no, it no, no. no. But there's no, there's no force. I don't no, right. there's no force. Tony Watt goes in with a straight leg right because he tries to flick the ball. So you see, see, after he makes contact with the ball, he pulls his leg, leg back. Away, uh, so he's actually pulling his leg out. Nah, he and didn't no contact with the player, did he? He made slight, he, he did make contact and it was studs up, but there's no excessive force. Nah. He's won the ball. You could argue it's an endangering an opponent, but I mean, the ball's there. His, his foot's got to be high to win no. the ball. Why has he got that aggression? Because he just watched Ass Blaster 4 in the... Ass Blaster 4, right? It's not it's a red. It's never, been a, it's never been a red. No, it's not a red. Because he, he's tried to pull his leg away. But what yeah. I will say is, I don't, it, it, it will only get rescinded because how can a, a ref go to the screen, give, it. give a red card at VAR and two days later get rescinded? That's what Faddy was saying yesterday, wasn't it? It's, it's re refing the game, which it's not here to do. That's, that's, that's what I mean. John Beaton. Because John Beaton never gave a foul. Didn't give him a foul. So and he's got two yards for it. I know. So if he didn't think it was a foul, why? Surely the ref should have a final say. He, huh? I, so he, he should have said to Var in his ear, look, I've, I've let that play on, so I don't want to go and see the monitor. That's what he should have said. Think, uh, well, Jen, who was in this, the, who was the end of Var, the winner? No, no idea. Pat Nevin. 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 Pat and that, does it affect the game? Because I thought the D United yeah, did Mother all right. Mother went up, didn't But the D United, they, they, they couple of chances. Stevie Fletcher, what did you see? I don't know why I kick. Oh, what a player. Fucking technique was incredible. Aye, man. He's got great technique. Aye, but um, Motherwell, see Big Van Veen? He should be scoring more goals than what he is. Some of the chances that he I gets. I think he was on 11, he's been on 11 for a while now, hasn't he? Has he, aye. Yeah. Because I was checking, I had a wee look at him last night. His, his stats in Holland were incredible. One in every two. And then he went down to England, it was more like one in five. One in six, and then up here in Scotland with my mother, where it's like one every three. But it seems like he's stalled. He's got himself into great positions. The one he's, he could have shot with his right, cuts in, he could have shot with his left, then he lays it off and it goes over the bar. And I'm like, I think that was his stats you were looking at. Was I'm just about to say that up until Scotland. <laughs> ah, no, in Scotland, but nah. right, Holland, I was flying England with MK Dons. I still had spots, so I wasn't that good in there. But uh, he has much more than that. Is it? He is a good player, isn't he? He is. Ah, good he is good. Uh, I think he'll, he'll leave Motherwell, won't he? Think so? I think so. I think Two that. goals. Hearts, Aberdeen, Aye. Hibs it's only been one game against everyone so far, but outside Rangers and Celtic, Motherwell's been the best team we've played. Aye. Well, we the and we beat them 3-0. Done United. But they were, they were really good. Aren't they? Who, who in particular impressed? Van Veen. Van Veen. To be honest, I uh, The left-back was unbelievable against us. Um, aye. 
I, I thought they were really good against us. Oh, yeah, I said we beat them. Goal is brilliant as well. Goal is brilliant. He's just one of the games. Goal is brilliant. He's focalizing, man. That's good enough. Great. Great boy. Who's that? Sean. Sean Kelly. He's at left footy. He's brilliant. Sorry, but. He went down south in that, Sean Kelly, didn't he? Yeah, brilliant, too. Could they battle for fourth, Motherwell? No. Why? Why not? We no lost the last. Is that not the first game they've won in a while? I know, but they played Celtic and Rangers in that. I think it was, it was a one game. I think I think I would be. I think five, I would be. Have to just be a bit too much for Motherwell at this point. You never know the recruitment in January could be. I just think there'll be a bit. But I think under Stephen Hamilton might maybe next season and his season's won. But you never know. I think Offer's, said, it's Offer's a, injured and he's a big player for them. It's a completely different style of play with Graham Alexander's was as well. Yeah. Yeah. And he's only been so in the job time. about two months. So well, I, I actually do think they bought into his style like no, really well. Have, but. Like you says, is there players that he identifies that maybe suit that still a bit better in January then? Who knows? Like, and that, he's done this with any of his players, isn't he? Really, Stevie Hall. And they were, uh, they were only, I know Alexander got them into Europe and that, but they were only good for a while under him. Nah, the I think he's just sitting he's January just last year, they head to tour all Saints game with Alexander. A million percent. Aye. He's no left in all Saints' sitting. Nah. No, no he, he's, he's in the all Saints and we can't. He's working in all Saints, isn't he? <laughs> 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 He's playing a 4 5 one in all Saints, man. <laughs> who drinks the best in the new? Who, who drinks the best out Van Bronckers? He's the best stylist in Scotland. Get the best style, he is, isn't he? He looks sharp, Van Bronckers, doesn't Aye. he? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Put a suit off, new bar, eh? No, uh, Dellen, good winner, the two best. And Ron Nielsen, three. There's quite a lot of handsome managers. Tim Goodman's a handsome manager, isn't he? Uh-huh. A good one looked good at Ibrox, sat he had to be trench cotton, didn't he? Aye. Aye. Uh-huh. He's got that grey look. Dellen kind has got a bit, isn't he? Who's the worst dressed ah, manager got a bit. in Scottish football? Dressed? Ah, you can go right down to the lower league if you want. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, a big question, that. Calm down, so it's not slipping up hoodies. Get Campbell. <laughs> fucking <laughs> top. <laughs> <laughs> slipping up okay. hoodies. Where's a waistcoat? That's Lenny's hero. <laughs> Where's a waistcoat with a tie? Oh, his suits are annoying. They gave him the biggest suit. Wait, his suits for Moss Bro- Moss Bro- Moss Bro- Moss Bro- Moss Bro- Biggest size boss. Oh, one of the fucking shops on Argyle Street, isn't it? Dunn United are struggling. Aye, they're struggling. Big time. Big, big Sam. Do you, who's it? It looks like a straight shoot at Kelly United, Ross County for me now, now. Kelly did too much, I think. Still Ross early, County United. Do you think it's still early? Aye. Ross County are struggling. Ross County United. Aye, they are struggling. Ross, Ross County were bottom of the league at this stage last season for us in top six. I know, but, but they've they they not got the same players. Charles Cook mm. don't have the same personnel. Mm. I would, I think it's between Ross County and Dundee United. Dundee United, they'll need to, um, oh, that's a big shout, that. Think so? Dundee, see, this is an app by the way, see if Dundee United don't pick up, it is an absolute disaster with the money they're spending. Uh, Isn't it, but? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And listen, I have no privilege. You tipped him for third. I know. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, but with that squad of players, say, si, and that's why I don't know the, the money they're on, but I imagine we have guys like Fletcher and that in the squad. The wage bill will be high, Paul. If Tony Watts left Mullerwell, I went to Dundee United and at the time it was a, bit, uh, su- was a bit of a surprise. McGrath, who was St Martin's best player as well. Yep. They must be spending a hell of a, a, hell of a lot of money um, and for, for them to be doing what they're doing is, is just no good enough. It isn't they? I'm telling you now. And they were, they were fourth last year, spent yep. their money and now they're bottom of the league. What, I mean, what goes wrong there? Is it management, coaching? Well, uh, is it we, 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 up to we, that? we spoke about it last year, some of the criticism that Tam Kurtz took. I know. Kurtz. They had them big Tam Kurtz. Tam uh-huh. Kurtz. But the fourth of the league, was, we were saying at the time, how harsh is it? Yeah. In Southern but I was unsure in him and all that. But at the same time, we keep revert back to last year. Last year, outside the old firm and Hearts, the rest were rubbish. Mm. That, like, no, no you're right, it was a poor start. It was a poor. They, they were, were poor. Just winning. It was poor. I think this year, it's, it's improved. Hibs have improved. Motherwell's improved. Aberdeen's definitely improved. Libby's doing Libby. St Mirren's improved. So, like... I'll, I'll tell you well why I worry for Dundee United, Kev. I can't get a goalie that can catch the ball, mate. See if you've got you a goalie. Save, he's that, got that, to save you that. Call? He's out now. Somebody else is. Ah, they brought in the, 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 the yeah, world tour, isn't it? See if you see Pitt go a few months ago. I was like, what the fuck's he talking about? And then I watched one of the games, I realised we bowled Heedy guys. Mr. Worldwide, I And the goal. Is he a winner, aye? But then the, the, the other goalie came in and he should save it. He's a good header, but it's not, I would say, a powerful header that should really be trouble. Just tip it over the bar. But he's tipped it up into his own net. Is that, I think, I don't know, goalkeepers sometimes it's hard when they come in for a first, you wonder for a first game in a while. <laughs> because look at the, the boy um, for every come in yesterday and Davies effing and ranting and raving because he kicked one out the park Black and he man. kicked another one. And I'm he's saying, like, he's, him saying that uh, David Martindale was saying he should save the first. No way. Nah, no chance. No, no he I shouldn't have never saved no that. chance. I don't understand. That's the power. Absolutely lasered into the top. It's old near post shout, isn't it? But that's fucking posted, isn't it? Lasered as well. Uh, Aye, Even a second just came through three hammer people. I know, and three slides. What was he saying? Aye. He's not respecting my goal to say that. 
Mate, it literally came through a body. It was one of them. That's where I'm Douglas, so I hit him in the balls, isn't it? Went back to the back to the boy, <laughs> and uh, he's kicked out the part, and you could see the camera going to where David was, and David's turning, and you could tell him without really seeing it, it to the goalkeeper coach. What the fuck are you? Uh, the goalie coach always gets it. The coach is getting it. Mate, it's mad how like when you know certain things happen, and it's actual fucking mental how angry you get, mate. Aye, that f- that. Anger that comes into you, mate, is... No, you're fine. You're just you get, you get it. You, listen, you, you get it. You get it. I got a Saturday with... Fucking punch of nuggets, aren't they? I got a Saturday with the kids. Fucking put one day <laughs> on as a sub and I brought them fucking straight back off. Did you? Like, ah, no you can just say it was Jude, mate. No working hard enough. You can just say it was Jude. No, Jude. One thing he does about... Jude actually, actually said to me... He said, so I grouped them all around and I says, boys, all the minimum ask is we work hard. And Jude turned around and says, hey, if, um... We, did I work hard enough? I says, Jude, I would never need to speak to you for working hard. I hate him for asking that. What are we... No, but he's like a fucking. I he's not in this week. He's not in this week. He's not in this week. He's dropped this week. Good night. He's Friday night. Friday night. Talking to me. Oh no, we're going to go to Hearts first, but we'll go back to him. Sorry. Talking to me. Comments. Graham soon. I think the Rangers and Celtic should build hundred thousand state or stadium and share it to give him more chance of getting there. He's in that. He's at Wynda. Any stress at the moment? Tell you what, big fan of Sunnis, but he needs to stop. I think Cummins has done him at the hydro, mate. I think he's been fucked since that. That's a bad shout. That. That's how Rangers and share a stadium. <laughs> what is it? What colour would it be? I know, same. same. Mr. Mr. Rangers has come out with something absolutely outrageous. Uh, I listen to him most mornings, 10 o'clock to whatever time he's on with uh, your man Simon, Simon Jordan. Jordan. And Simon Jordan's been gaining it. At he's got him in toes, he's got him in toes. He's got him in toes, doesn't he? Aye. Well, Graham, yeah. last week you said this. Not, he no, does well, not forget oh, anything, Simon, hey, Jordan, Simon does Jordan. He is brilliant, Simon Jordan. That's who you need to go and interview. That's no, who you need to go and interview. Oh, fucking hell, man. That'd be good, though. Morons, man. Tell you what, Jeff Shreve's interview was really good. Do you like that, mate? Shreve's it. Went for a pint with him after, didn't we? Is it? Tell me his best stories up. A couple of Dennis Wise stories are really funny, aren't they? Dennis Wise. Really no fancy about? telling them in the podcast? No, no. no. I got was the one I said to him, but mate, he's like, that's ah, that. So who you type with Sky Knight? He's like, my best pal's Alan Smith. And I'm like, fuck, see, I played with him at MK Dodge, which was meaning. Aye, the other Alan Smith member. Imagine Jeff Shreves and that Alan Smith hanging about with each other. He looked at me like a piece of shit, didn't he? Uh, so could this ever happen? No, so, like, no, 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 listen. No, no, bad shout. No. I think he's just trying to get ways maybe selling. Talk sport, see, once you go on talk sport, you do start kind of saying, Ridiculous comments. It's like they almost do it for like clickbait. Ah, it's no, clickbait. they do. They do. They yeah. do. Hundred percent. The worst is it at Gabby Agburn. How many does the that player or that player? Lord of Fraud is it? No, no he does like so. No, they like say for example, they'll pick Man U squad and then like Aston Villa squad and tell it, put them together. Ah, and he'll yeah. just pick every ah, Aston Villa player. Does it all the time? You know, noticed. He gets no. it tight. To be fair, for McCoyst and uh, Brazil, I think he talks about his goal scoring record at Aston Villa. I think he scored 70 goals in his whole time there. I know, mate. Peter Brazil said. I thought I'd Burnley was a good player. Yeah, it was, Aye, a, good it was player. a good player. Uh-huh. Brazil said, I think McCoy scored 70 in one season, Gabby. So, but nah, the, the, the fucking. the I born the horse as thick as man. Who, and who, who else do you like? Well. Up, talk who do you like? I don't uh, think they're. I think Alan McCoy, Simon Jordan are the two best, I think. I don't think, mate, mate honestly, I get Kane for this, but McCoy's is a hero, I love him, I think he's amazing, but I don't think he's a bronc pundit, mate, as in his opinion on football. I don't think he goes, when some, I remember Laura Woods, he said something, Laura Woods challenged him on it and he didn't keep calling me. Mm-hmm. Well, he's just a brilliant guy. Why, 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 why don't you say like, that? Why don't you say that to him the, the next time you're calling it because you want to know that, don't you? You like Andy Townsend too, don't you? So that says a lot. Shreves, I don't know. Shreves? So do you know I have Kane Dandy Townsend on here? She's like, do you know he's a fucking great, great guy, great pundit? And I was, I, I, I get no, no, like, like, Andy Townsend. I was like, no, fuck it. I thought you'd fucking, <laughs> I thought you told him to say that. And I, I shot it in the room and no, I think he's fucking, I just went, ah, oh, great. <laughs> what a shite bag, man. I knew that, wasn't it? Bro, who do you think is the best pundit? Sorry, before we go. Carragher. Fadi's the best in Scotland. Aye, I'd, say, I'd say Carragher. Carragher's the best. Aye. Do you like Neville? I do like Neville, but I think Carragher's a better pundit. I think he's better at breaking down the game. I think he's a better footballing pundit. Do you know who's horrendous unless Man U play bad? Roy Keane. See, if Man U U play, I agree, but if Man U playing well, what else is he gay? He's only good when he's slotting people, isn't he? It's amazing he's got a rant, but he's just all that old school, isn't he? Nah, no for me. Yeah. Uh, Right, Hibs are flying. Man, they got beat for St. Johnson last week, but anyway. They're back, Jake. They're back flying. You thought St. Marvin beat them. Oh, we actually had a bet on this. So we did. So what you get? You're getting better after the cup show. I'm getting Mars, red but the cup show on Thursday. Buzzing, buzzing. Oh, to be fair, be some people will not be able to tell a fucking difference. <laughs> um, but impressive. Uh, St. Mirren were flying before this. They were flying. Um, Hibs look good to me. Any time I seen them first half against St. Johnston on the bus. 
didn't see the second half because we went in as the boys got their hoagies and their orange juice. But I watched the highlights against Sitman as well. I, I think Hibbs look like they've got a right good team. Neil, Neil's a good player. Is it well, Neil I mean, he's pa- the one that got disallowed, he's passed for that. It's I think when that, that, like, that's what you're talking about. Like a, your, your high, you, you obviously said about Saturday potentially having a high fullback. That's what you wanted your fullback. Yeah. When your fullback's come that and you've got that pass in there, makes a huge difference. Cause it Big striker looks handful as well. Okay, uh, right. He'd unbelievable for a like, goal to get his body in. But no, Hibbs, Hibbs look. Uh, Absolutely decent to be fair. I always Thanks. thought they would come good. Did you? I did. I said it a bit, we asked on last day on about the, the predictions, and I said that Hibs would be up there. They'll come good. It's a good race for third now, isn't it? Yes. But your man. You're saying Hibs, Hibs are flying. Right? It's between the three, isn't it? You're saying Hibs are flying. Hearts win the game in hand, they're twenty points, and you think, ah, oh, the, the, the 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 negative have had about Hearts this season. So the Hibs have had it annoying, to be fair. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's quite a big it's it's be tight. Looks like he's injured, doesn't he? Ah, he can well, be injured. I, I, I was I was going to say, I think that's probably the big. Like, you're right, and I think a lot of teams have improved Hibs, Aberdeen, or, or these teams we've mentioned. But I think the biggest thing with Hibs is they've got options in areas now. That I think last year. When they got Nisbet injured, yep. Boyle left. Didn't have any Never really in. had the same type of replacements, yep. but now they've got obviously the boy Johan Melkerson no playing. Boyle's came back, the big Ukrainian striker they've just signed, so they've got options in areas, which is, is probably the thing they've, they've liked the most. But Friday's massive because it's Hibs Aberdeen, that. Yeah, Hibs Aberdeen. Who'd you fancy for that? Could go anywhere, that. Could I'll go a draw, I'll sit in the fence. That's a three each draw, that. Is it? Where's it at? Three each? Oh, it's at uh, Petaudry. Petaudry. Oof. Oh, that could be a belter again. Oh, Friday night, you game. watch it? Friday night. Well, who are we playing? We're no, you've got a game Friday. We've got a game Friday. No, so I don't know. Saturday, it's Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. 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 Because if he's fit, I think he troubles that Aberdeen back line with pace. Yeah. Um, the big boy. It's young McKenzie that plays left back, isn't it? For Aberdeen? Uh, the big boy that plays. You know who I really like in Hibs? Henderson. Henderson, he was good Saturday, wasn't Mate, he? I like he, he's got a things, clever he? footballer. <laughs> he looks what? Tired a bit, thanks. No, he's good, he's good. Um, what do you used to say? I swear, Auntie Ashes, what we used to see when it's a World Cup? You used to get how many weeks? You used to get half? He's going to get his hair done. Uh, we don't know, but uh, definitely a week, at least a week. When, how long is it? A month of the World Cup and then it's straight back into the a season? A month, four weeks and then straight what? back in. Is that? I thought it was longer than that. No, it's usually just a month. Is it? usually starts like... I'm really there. looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the first World Cup. Who wins the World Cup? Who's your favourite? Who's the favourites? I think, it's, I think Argentina's going to do it. I'd love it if Argentina did it. He Martinez. He says he... No, I said Carrier's my favourite opponent. He says he couldn't play in the Premier League. What a fucking player he is, he, man. I wouldn't have been as fuck. What a player on the bottom of it. Kempson, I said this morning as well, he, his passing's no... No, I see he's good at it. He's a brilliant passer on the ball. Big no? Maguire was all over the gap for first half. Oh, mate, you ever seen on that commentary? Sc- Maguire said he was fucking all over the gap. As soon as he says his passion's no scratchy, doesn't he? So, <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy, <laughs> that. I love Martinez, mate. Aye, yeah. yeah, brilliant, that big guy. I've seen Argentina not for him, man, new fan. Argentina, I heard that. Uh, so, Giza, Giza, prediction for the World Cup? I'm going to go for... Uh, Is it two girls, one cup you were watching? Right. <laughs> I like, I, I think Brazil. <laughs> That sounds good. TT was at a game yesterday. They've so he was. Any titty? I think Neymar's <laughs> watching Neymar recently for PSG. He's in full flow. <laughs> Casemiro. I think. Fred. Too early to get that. Fred cannot win the World Cup. <laughs> Thanks, sir. No, he cannot, mate. Who else is good at the European side? Who's the stronger European side? I think you need to watch Germany with Hansi Flick. You love him, didn't you? He's a big Hansi Flick. Does he sniff the balls now? No, Flicks, no, just as if he's boys, no. What's France like? They must be strong. No, but squads are really strong. Fucked strong France. I mean, Mbappé didn't refuse to go out the photo shooting or that, and they're all arguing. Oh, he did. 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 Who's our strings? Where do I start? Cruz? <laughs> oh, somewhere. We'll be good. No, you're in goal. Hulls. Tuss the game at Put it to him if you want. Um, Centre half. Because your knowledge of European football is normally on point. His uncle's a Germany fan, isn't he? Is he? Aye. No, and Big Jim Lowe, he's relation to Hokey Mwani. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but the, the, the only issue you would say is a striker. Because you can't have Reeve. Havertz. Musiala. What oh, about the boy that used to be at uh, uh,
Leroy Sane and Abre front three. I was going to say Sane. No, but Werner, that's what you should have said. Werner will play or no? Timo. Werner's not no, fucking no. playing, is he? I think Flick loves him. Because he's Kai Havertz. Havertz is a man. Yeah. I love Havertz. Love him. Uh, right, Halloween. So are you dressing up, right? No. Nah. Nah. Nobody. I normally hear Halloween party at the house every year. Get all the neighbours round. This year with no fucking board. Uh, Shabazz used to stay next door to me. Yeah? Shabazz. Who's that? Uh, hey, big brother. You know Shabazz? Who oh. was that? Shabazz. No, no, no. Shabazz, I do remember that. Yeah, he was next door to me. Who is he? Right next door, right? Did you get on with him? I was alright. And did he ever talk about my brother? No, you do know him, do you, you know who he's talking about? I don't. Long hair. Sure you know what I remember for Big, uh, Big Brother was Mikey when he got up with a tennis ball? Nah, that, was the, that was the best bit of TV. Fuck's sake, guys, what was that? <laughs> That's piss, guys. That's piss, guys. <laughs> That's piss, guys. <laughs> you get a fucking shade. <laughs> How sore does that look? <laughs> ah, there's Shabazz there. No one named ever talks about that. That's him right next door. I don't remember him. Uh, no one named ever talks about Mikey but, uh, on Big Brother Mind when he ate the fucking Oh, with the chilli. Oh, 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 mate, his mouth was on fire, wasn't it? Milk. That's right. What Who the fuck wants milk cups and your mouth's on fire? What one was it when they kept going for the fake <laughs> towels? Bovril! A bovril! The one when they kept going for the fake tan, they kept going for the spray tan. And then another spray tan. <laughs> another spray tan, that was brilliant. <laughs> How was it? That? that was fucking... Mikey was the best. Mikey was the best. best. Hero. Uh, what about uh, Team Fancy Dresses? He's done them. Uh, Just at Christmas. Best, uh, best ever I was involved in was... Um, we had a team out in Tenerife. Uh, big Griggsy dressed up as a smurf. So we were at Gerard. I told you Gerard hated like the boys, which you would think Gerard loved a drink with the boys and that, didn't you? But he hated when the boys like went out and that. There was always like a curfew. So the curfew was something like midnight. And everyone, make sure you're at breakfast for nine o'clock in the morning. But we weren't supposed to train the next day. So if you don't turn up, everyone at nine o'clock is at ten the next day. So we went out, fair play every day, get back curfew time. Breakfast the next day. Obviously Griggsy's dressed up as a smurf the night before. Nine o'clock, everyone's there except for Griggsy. I'm like, oh no, man, we're training now. Gerard can pulls all the boys like that. If you don't get him here by quarter past nine, you're all training. So we're all fucking raging, banging on the door, he's not waking up. Honestly, always went back to breakfast, 14 minutes past nine. Griggsy walks in like this. Full smurf outfit, <laughs> blue face paint. Like, Gerard just burst out laughing like that. What the fuck can I do? Still had all the face paint and everything, mate. That's amazing, man. Fucking steaming. My favourite is still Cummins. So he never done, he, he wasn't on at the Hydro and he turned up the next day at Dens. He still had the white face. Imagine how sad with Mike Pace off. I wasn't there. Wasn't it Steve and I wasn't it Steve and I? Steam in air, wasn't it Steve and I? <laughs> Fucking joking, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, what is in here? Look, you, did you know, well, you did the old man's haircut, didn't you? Aye. That was a cracker, wasn't it? That was brilliant. Shouldn't have done it at the Hydro, though. No, you should have. People are shocked at that, weren't they? Grew in well. Who, who, somebody started grating in on the box. Aye, sure they did. The man, wasn't it? The man was great. upset seeing my son looking like that. Anyone else? Good fancy dresses? Nah, we used to, we had one years ago, Summerland. It was just like bad taste. It was just probably kind of the club where you're wearing the new bit. Ah, no, it was, it was just, no, it was just, it was just bad gear. It's only my gear, isn't it? <laughs> no, because it's different to mine, so I'm yeah, just Yeah, you're looking great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to look, did anyone ever go as the manager? Fancy dress? Aye. Keith, Keith Lasley and Steve McGarry went Jim Gannon and Stinky Pete, the assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and did Jim Gannon find it? I think he got sacked. I think he was getting sacked the weekend he went away. So they've, they've actually stole their gear, but see, they took it. Oh, they've took their actual gear? Their actual gear, actually, I don't know if they, they knew they were getting sacked, but it was brilliant. And were they acting like they took the full full weekend? Full I love shit like that. Ah, amazing, but they were brilliant at it, do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. no, Somebody done that in Dundee with Paul Hartley as well, and he found it and he was raging, man. Was he? Like, dressed up Paul Hartley. Dressed up High heels on. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> he was, I don't think he was happy about it. Would you so see this? The, the boys were No, I would give a fuck. No, you are not. Depend on who it was. <laughs> I could easy do you. Could I you? could do something with you and be you for a full day. What, you, do you know? Puby Tash. Nah. Saturday, Saturday, we're at the fit I ball. promise you, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, at the fit ball, my, uh, my sister in law was there. And There's Cam Davison there. What's it? She went, <laughs> is, that, is that Simon? I went, ah, that's how it is. It says, he looks like um, him off of the telly. I says, who? Oh, is uh, Roy Chuckle. The Chuckle Bar. Fucking dead with you. Oh, it's a good show. It's a good show. Uh, yeah. Chuckle Bar is not called Roy. Is it no, uh, Paul, uh, Paul uh, and Barry? Paul and Barry. Barry, Barry Chuckle. <laughs> Big Roy Barry Chuckle. Chuckle. I thought it was Roy. Roy Chuckle. Barry Chuckle, but I thought I couldn't oh, see. Was that how it was at Hydro? I couldn't see the resemblance. I, Kimball. 
She must like Barry Chuckle anyway. You should, you hydro. should definitely do the pigeon glide if you were alone. That would go down brilliant. That'd be a good day. This next hydro day. Are we doing another hydro? Are you, are you on here the next week or are you away? I think I'll probably be alright for next week. Go and just take your jeans off. <laughs> what do you want to see? A, a big thing is on in the a jeans. A snake. Nah. What are they doing? Trying to uh, surgeons will do their bet on him. I didn't name names, but you know, you've heard this. Uh, got caught it last week, so you may as well tell you the, wow. when you go for an operation. Uh, so I went on first. Oh an my. operation wherever I went, I can't have no name of the place, but the physio doing on the train was telling me in previous surgeries that he's went with his player, the nurses and the surgeons put bets on to see how big or small you are. Mm-hmm. That's when they put you under a knife. So obviously all oh, bets were half when I got mine half, genuinely. <laughs> so we're thinking about you now. <laughs> uh, that's us, lads. Right, tremendous. Well, you want to talk about? I've talked about Anthony, you think it's alright? Aye, right, Anthony's alright. I think that's cool. It's kids, kids, will, kids will enjoy that. So see if, the, see if one of your Harry, Barry, Gary, Larry, Mary or Carrie done a... Ah, would you? Nah. I'm, I'm all for kids uh, expressing themselves. Expressing they themselves. They have to. I don't, don't mind them trying things. Are we still doing this? Nah, you sure? You sure that's us last, bro? Get your tapper. Sorry. No, I don't.